My name's Emma Dry and I'm a tutor, assessor and course author with the Open College of the Arts. I'd like to talk to you today about the work of David Hazlitt, who submitted for assessment for watercolour practice, which is a level one painting course. Firstly, I'd like to show you this painting, which is titled My First Watercolour Painting. So having made this painting, what David has then done is really reflected very deeply on what that really means, my first watercolour painting. So this is about him and watercolour. Within what feels like minutes, <laughs> he's producing work like this through reflection and through contextual research and just through the pure being with the medium, making more watercolours. He's opened up the way that he uses it and enabled the watercolour to do its own thing. He's also been radical in the way he uses colour. And you can see here how people that he's looking at, Raoul Dufy, are influencing his work. But it's still David. It's still his work. It's still him. It's still watercolour. What I particularly like about his work, and he develops this very quickly, you know, it's this fresh level one course, um, is his understanding of space. Not just what to put in and how to do it, but what to leave out. And when you look at these sketchbook pages, I think there's a kind of Whistler-esque nothingness about this wee blue painting. And there's a lovely kind of reduction here, but still the colours are singing. And he's been able to spot that. He's been able to spot his relationship with colour, but use discernment to recognise that that's something powerful for him and go for it all guns blazing, even if we end up with a flamingo pink neoclassical temple. What's not to like? Finally, there's a, a series here that I think is worth looking at for any level one student. Initially, David has gone out into his back garden and painted his shed. But he's not stopped there. He's painted his shed a lot. He's got about, well, he's got a dozen of these paintings of his shed. The shed melts in, comes back, it goes in and out of being a solid object. He's recognising there's something here, there's something about this solidity watercolour is not very solid, the shed is solid, this is something I would like to think about, plays around with it, and then he does these little studies of cubes, checking tonality, you know, this is all related, this is an investigation, this is an exploration of his subject matter, him and the paint, until eventually the shed becomes this, and fantastically, in my opinion, he then deposits the shed on a kind of Turner slash Cotman beach. <laughs> so this is garden shed somewhere else on a beach. That drawing is entitled. And I think, well done, David. That is a very fitting summation of your studies at Level 1 Watercolour.